What up, Hard Squad? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the official kickoff of raising money for mental health awareness. Of course, we have Nick. You are back, my friend, all the way from Canada. It's been two years. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank we you. are officially kicking things off, raising funds and awareness for NAMI or the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Nick and I, we've been doing this for years now, almost half a decade, and we're really excited about this year because, well, today we are gonna get kicked off by opening tons of packs and all of it is going to y'all, to those that donate, but more on that to come. We're involving tons of other creators this year, not just ourselves and we're gonna get into that we're gonna get into special surprises uh, there's gonna be video there's gonna be a lot of stuff to talk about I'm gonna start opening up and then let kind of Nick take things away with kind of getting more into things why we're doing things why this is so important to us we'll talk more about logistics in this video the packs we're opening up will be all going to those that donate if you want to just get right to it to donate uh, link will be not just on screen, will be in the description below. Uh, good luck with that, but let's get started because we got Celebrations packs, we got Evolving Skies packs, and we have Chilling Rain packs. We are opening tons in today's video, and it's all going to y'all. So first of all, I'm very, very excited to be back, Heart Squad. Uh, this is, yeah, year four of, of raising funds for, for mental health awareness, which uh, obviously we're with, very, very excited With to. us together. Yes, uh, that's yeah. correct. Hey everyone, this is future Leonhard quickly interrupting the video because if you're a creator or any type of person that wants to be involved in helping out this whole charity, the link in the description below, you yourself can create your own campaign and raise funds for NAMI and help out to reach our goal of $1 million. It's not just about myself and the Hard Squad this year. This is not even about the whole Pokemon community because we will have dozens and dozens of creators, collectors, anyone that wants to help out, create that campaign now on the Tiltify link in the description below and you can make it as fun as you want. The great thing is all of the giveaways that I'm doing, free ticket to my pop-up shop, all the cards that you see opened up in today's videos and future videos that are mentioned for this charity, you can say to your followers and anybody that donates to your own campaign that they get entered in the chance for all of my things. And of course, you can create your own things as well, but it all starts with y'all creating your own campaign via the link in the description below. Use the hashtag, hashtag give a heart. I wanna make this thing massive, involve as many people as possible. I'll be looking out at those who create campaigns or who do their own streams, any type of content. You can create your own fundraiser. Anything helps. But let's get back to the video. I appreciate you for watching. Well, let's get into this first pack real quick, then we'll we'll start to well, no, no, dive no, no. into I want you to more. I want you to continue. <laughs> uh, I want you to continue. Um, I will say, so I'm opening up these packs right now. This video likely will be posted at the beginning of November. I am still as of recording this video. Uh, I'm still missing four cards from the set, so it's gonna be weird because it's like, I'm probably gonna do more celebrations openings before this video is posted, where you probably will see me have already pulled some of these cards, but I'm gonna be very excited about pulling them in this video. So just wanting to put that out there. So this year, I mean, last year, unfortunately, I wasn't able to, to travel with everything that was going on for the past little bit. So I'm um, very, very excited to, to get a chance to, to be back here now. And we mm -hmm. set a pretty ambitious goal this year of, uh, of what we want to raise. You know, a million dollars is the target. But um, like Lee was saying, I mean, this, this really isn't about him and I, this is about kind of everybody pitching in and obviously sharing awareness, raising funds. Um, and we thought to hit a goal like that, we couldn't just do it ourselves. So um, we kind of, everybody kind of knows the importance of, you know, staying together, trying to unify together for, for good causes, especially with what's happened over the past couple of years. So we wanted to involve as many other creators from, from different spaces as well, not just Pokemon uh, in this endeavor. So uh, we're very, very excited to see what, you know, not just we can do, but what the community can do, what other creators can do. And I mean, every goal we've ever set before is, is just kind of blown away our expectations. So I have no doubt that we're gonna make a serious mm. run at that goal this year, so. Very nice birthday Pikachu. I'm just gonna put these in no, you can put those in no specific order. Yeah, no problem. I'll so keep like, them all safe over here, don't worry. So this year, we're doing things a bit differently. Um, I believe we're gonna be using, because I'm recording this a little bit ahead of time, uh, a service that you're probably familiar with. It's called Tiltify. Um, 
It's uh, basically a company and organization that lets us keep track of all the donations from hey ding 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 ding, ding Corona from the many different types of creators that are part of this. And what's fun, and what I will say is, if you also click on the link below, it will take you to the main campaign page. But this is where it's fun because if you're a, like a smaller streamer or a bigger streamer that's just watching this and you wanna take part, you wanna keep track of how much your own community raises uh, for this overall campaign for NAMI, you can go to the link below and make your own campaign. You can sign up to join this campaign for obviously for free and uh, you name your campaign and you can send your followers to donate at that specific campaign. And all of that comes together and Tiltify keeps track of that and makes it easy all together in that one campaign for eventually hopefully raising $1 million for NAMI. And, uh, and that will be a way to involve people that were not just, you know, the, the, the people that were involved at the beginning, the kind of ambassadors that I originally contacted, um, this, that'll be a way for, you know, you can be streaming yourself. And I think at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the hashtag, hashtag give a heart. Yep. Uh, I think I mentioned that in one of the other videos I did uh, like a month ago by now, I think. Um, it'll also be in the description. Kind of put that in your title as well or you know in your title on your campaign or your stream or whatever so when you're streaming uh and this goes to anybody out there i may make an a i may make an appearance uh in your stream like in the chat in you know contacting you i want to try to help support and see whoever else is you know raising you don't have to stream you can do whatever you want for it you can just send your followers to it or just start your own campaign you like, can do whatever type of content you want for it um, but it's a great way to get the entire, not just the Pokemon community, but other niches and stuff involved as well too, and keep track of it all together. And I'm gonna do what I can to help support those that do help it as well too. So that's why there'll be surprises. Uh, may send you some, you know, random packs or I don't know, something. I just want this to be, hey, I just want this to be really, really successful. Most importantly for NAMI, uh, why NAMI? They're, basically one of the top rated organizations uh, for providing resources, providing education, providing an outlet for people that just wanna learn more, people that are struggling, anything, you can contact NAMI. Uh, they offer so many different types of classes. And like I said, many different types of information and resources that you can look it into. Last year, we raised almost half a million dollars last year and that actually created an entire class training program uh, for people out there. It, that was one of the many things that that money did. But we most importantly is that we know that the awareness that we've done before yeah. throughout the years, we know that the money that we've raised, none of it first off goes through us. It's going directly to NAMI, but it has made such an impact on so many people's lives. And that is what, when it comes down to, that's when it comes down to at the end of the day. Uh, is the amount of impact that it's had on people, the people that have left messages when they donate yep. and us reading through them and everything. Um, people personally, you know, contacting myself or letting Nami know that they, you know, were in a bad place, but they found this thanks to our videos or somebody's video and now they're in a much better place. Like that's what it, this is all about. And it's a very, very personal cause to me as we get a Cletha Classical and this guy. Nice. Um, that's what it's all about. And I couldn't have done this first off without Nick throughout the years. So once again, I wanna say thank you so much, Nick. And of course, I couldn't do it without you, the community, the Heart Squad, and anybody else that's a fan of Pokemon. And in this case, this year, uh, yeah. the many other niches that we have, you know, Hopefully these other creators throughout this entire month. And I, there's a lot of information guys. Uh, this, we want this to go on from November 1st to December 31st. So a two month span of creating that content, raising awareness and, uh, you know, eventually hopefully hitting that goal of $1 million. Last year we had the goal of $100,000 and obviously we, more than eclipsed that goal. There was lots of stuff. I, I completely even failed to mention, uh, the page will say more, but for my, for people that donate, there are lots of things that 
you will get a chance. Like I think it's like ten dollar minimum donation. Yep. Gets you a chance not just at every single card you see opened up in this video that Nick and I do. We're gonna do like at least two more videos. Uh, there will be other types of videos and other types of cards that will open up, and all of those cards together are going to one winner. A uh, really big one. One person's gonna get a free ticket to my pop-up shop. So that's really, really big too. There are, fly baby. There are first edition Neo Revelation packs, a full art set of four of them going to one person. There's some PSA 10 cards going to another person. So there's lots and lots of chances. So I, I know there's gonna be a lot of people donating, but at the same time, there's lots and lots of amazing stuff that ultimately, you know, the, the most important thing is, is it's going to a good cause. It's going to an amazing organization that helps out, you know, tons and tons of people. And that's what it is. Uh, overall, and so I know I've been talking a lot, Nick, and he's been doing <laughs> okay. the he's been doing the best job. I'm just trying to make sure that, uh, you know, that I hit on everything. While we have plenty of packs to more open for today's opening, yeah. um, there'll be plenty of time to continue chatting about why we're doing this again. Uh, more ways you can help. I don't know. Is there anything I missed or anything you just like to no, add on, Nick? There, there is a lot to, to start talking about, yeah. so it's it's totally understandable. But um, I think you're you're absolutely right. And the point that is this whole thing is to just more than it is just to raise money it is to raise awareness because I think everybody in some form or some degree or another the past couple of years has had pressure put on their mental health and their you know just having to deal with things, not seeing friends and family and things like that. So mm -hmm. I think now more than ever, you know, mental health should be at the forefront of what um, what everybody deals with, not just people who, who suffer with, you know, mm -hmm. serious illnesses and things like that. Um, so the message that this sends and, you know, hopefully the awareness, not just the money that we're able to raise um, is felt across the world. I mean, we do this once a year, but um, like Lee was saying, learning the benefits from NAMI and, and understanding where the money goes and, learning you know reading the stories and people who are being connected with with the resources they need to you know to make them happier to make them better to you know to make their lives a little bit easier that's what it's you know that's what it's all about at the end of the day and i mean i can't i mean i sit there and i read the comments on the donation page and it's one of my favorite things to do is just to understand you know that everybody kind of feels the same way everybody's united behind this cause and that's kind of the reason why we wanted to get everybody together to do it this year is because um, there's a lot of really good people out there that, that share similar, you know, desires to, to promote awareness for things like that. So, you know, we've done so much together because of everybody out there supporting us that in order to take the next step, you know, we wanted to invite everybody else or as many people as we could to, to do this as well too. So, um, it's an ambitious goal, like we're saying, but I don't think that there's anything at this point that we know that this community and everybody around the world can't do when when we band together to do these things. Very and, nice for art. And going on, you know, we couldn't have done that. You know, we can't do this, this lofty goal uh, without the creators, without the community. Just because you can't donate doesn't mean you can't, you know, there's ways you can help by sharing the donation page as well, by sharing these videos as well. Oh hey. my! <laughs> so this is, uh, <laughs> this is one I have not pulled until now. <laughs> A Mewtwo EX. Very, very nice. Wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Beautiful. that's really cool. But basically, these packs that we're opening right now, these were actually donated uh, by Collector's Cash. I'm sure you've seen me shout them out in a video before. Um, definitely, please go check out Collector's Cash. And I want to say thank you so much to Collector's Cash because, uh, you know, this was a lot of packs that not just for today's video, but more videos. And every single card that you see pulled is going to uh, that one person that donates and luckily gets all of these cards. So thank you so much again, Collector's Cash, for really, really helping us out with having these cards that you know will hopefully go to a good home for a good cause. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun with all the creators. I'm really excited to see all of, oh, very nice. I'm very excited to see what they can come up with. Um, like Nick said, it's a lofty goal, but we're very excited, especially, you know, using Tiltify, getting focused, using Tiltify. Uh, I've haven't used, I think I've used it like years ago. It was for something very small. Um, this will be more of an official, official campaign that, cause Nami itself had to make the campaign page, but uh, you know, overall we'll have the, you know, every creator, including myself will have their own mini creation pages and 
campaign pages that you can do and donate to those, but it ultimately all adds up and keeps track of that, you know, hopefully hitting that million dollar goal. Yeah, absolutely. And Nami is working uh, with us and Tilt Defy. Like it's all, a, it's all a joint effort to to get all this to work as efficiently mm -hmm. as possible across obviously many different creators and, and platforms and things like that. So um, everyone's going to be on the same page. So there's there's no concerns about kind of splitting it up into different areas. It's all going to go back to Nami, which are heavily involved in this. So um, so no concerns there. It's going to be really really special when it's all put together. So. And uh, also, by the way, uh, Nick's kind of handling just to make things like uh, go more speedier and organized because this is a lot of cards. Uh, <laughs> he, I offered to let him open up some packs, but it's just easier I, for it, me to just kind of breeze through them so we can, you know, chat. Make sure we're chatting about the important stuff yeah. while showcasing you what pulls some lucky person is going to get. Also, two years ago, if anybody remembers, I tried to open an Aquapolis pack on camera. And it was very, very poor. Uh, I don't think it was in focus at all. So I've since been banned from opening any cards. Nah, right that was now, a so. self-imposed ban. <laughs> that was like a self-imposed ban. I totally, he's more than welcome to. All right, so we've gotten the Mewtwo, Yveltal, Christmas Tree, Surfing Pikachu. You know what? I've, I've still, you know, we pulled the Mewtwo EX. That's actually a very difficult card to pull uh, from what I've seen. Uh, but only pulled one Shining Mew. Uh, in one of my openings, and there's still the Umbreon Gold Star from Celebrations, which I haven't pulled unless. Oh, very nice, Night King. So there's still lots of cards, um, especially in Evolving Skies. Like I haven't even really talked about Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain much. Uh, obviously, not even Celebrations too much, but uh, there's lots of cards in those respective sets that I haven't pulled now. Obviously, this is me pulling them now, but I still, you know. It's for like master set purposes, you know, when it really counts for myself. So that's where it's like, you know, I'm excited here pulling these, but you know, well, it, it doesn't count. You know, it's it, I'm ex I'm excited because they're going to a good cause and a good home, hopefully. Um, but just you know, it doesn't like for people being like, well, it's not going to count because they're not. You know, you know, it's, they don't. I agree with you. That's what I'm saying. I agree with you. They don't count because you know, I still need to pull a Mewtwo if I haven't already. For my master set that's all i'm saying but we root just as hard if not harder for the pulls in like this, like this. <laughs> a very timing. nice venusaur and a professor's research man i hope this person is gonna have like a <laughs> you know, like a whole like master set themselves by the time we're done with all of the packs that we have that collector's cash gave us but uh, for I mean, these openings we also want to make these openings as entertaining as they can be and we want the best cards that we possibly can because we want to give away some really really cool stuff uh -huh. really every year that we've opened stuff together we've had some pretty good luck i mean there's been some some crazy cards in the past that we've pulled and, and given away so very much hoping to continue that this year i mean the modern yeah. sets right now especially it's kind of we're really lucky to be opening you know three sets in a row celebrations involving skies chilling mm -hmm. rain I mean, it's just been an incredible run for, for these sets right now with Fusion Strike, you know, around the corner too. Um, what a time for, for modern packs. So Actually, the, the fact that, that this is what we're opening just for modern packs, not to mention all the other stuff and some vintage yeah. stuff that we've got planned. Um, it's pretty incredible, the uh, the assortment that we may be able to get here. So really hoping for you guys and everybody out there that, uh, that we can get some really cool stuff. I'm actually thinking by the time like this video is up, Fusion Strike will already be out, I think, or like, <laughs> or it would close. be close. It's gonna be close to being out. Like, yes. probably, actually, like, this week is probably gonna be a Fusion Strike video here on the channel, so you can get excited for that, too. It's just like, every single, oh, Avery Johnson. Very nice. It's a basketball player, by the way, but that's definitely not a basketball player. Even though he is holding balls, yeah. or, anyway, it's gonna be fun. We got lots of, you know, fun content to come. I'm excited to see what we can all do this time as a massive community. I think it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun and Carvana na na na. I'm excited to have Nick here, of course, with uh, you know the pandemic last year. It, you know, no one can travel, so had to table that, even though we did do very, very, you know, almost a half a million dollars raised, so it was very successful. But we got those lofty goals once again this year. Um, and, you know, I'm very, very confident that we could reach it, but we can't do it without y'all's help. So uh, maybe even a live stream here and there. Uh, I say that always, uh, as yeah. Nick knows. <laughs> I've been saying I'll, I'll do a live stream, but I will, if not already. I probably have already done one, Graplock and Gallade. 
I think what's what's really been cool is you know everybody that we've reached out to so far to to join us in this event has been has been an easy yes. I mean they they're very much looking forward to helping, seeing what they can do, and I mean it's really encouraging to see you know everybody kind of getting together and and trying to make this as special of an event as it possibly can be. So um, I know Lee and I worked really hard on this to to make it as good as it possibly can be, and we felt obviously this was the next step in in making this event you know as big as it possibly can oh, be. Oh, as another so, Venus. Very sword. nice. No, that's very true. But, you know, going forward, I mean, we're, we're still working on, you know, next year's plans and different things like that. So this is something that, you know, we're going to try to do together as long as we can. And we're going to hope to include as many people as possible and, and finding ways to facilitate as many people as possible that can join us in this, too. So mm -hmm. I'm very, very excited just to see what, what that is. Oh, means. my gosh. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to pull a bunch of cards like that, you can't really go wrong with some Venusaurs. So. I know. Seriously. All right. So... Uh, actually, yeah, I've got some Chilling Rain evolving in Celebration, so let's get through these. There's a lot of alternate arts, as everyone I'm sure knows, in Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain, so yeah, really hoping to land a few of those, you know, throughout these videos at some point, so that we can give away to there's, potential winners. So. There's still, uh, like, the alternate art Umbreons from, was it, no, Evolving Skies. Yep. Uh, have not pulled those. Hey, hey Rockets Admin, very, very nice, nice classical. Uh, I haven't pulled those, so that would be very cool to just get those on here. It'd be very exciting. Uh, I would love to get another Shining Mew for, for whoever gets these cards and stuff. I think that's going to be really cool. Yep. Um, there's that. Maybe a Golden Snorlax out of Chilling Rain, too. I still we, have not really pulled lucky. a Golden Snorlax, so, but there's Doduo and Steroids. Yep. Zapdos. Um, let's see about this Evolving Skies pack. Doing such a good job over there of keeping everything like super organized. Noivern. Okay, okay. It reminds me of the <laughs> the Batvern alternate art. Pulled it several times, yes. but it's a gorgeous card. That would be a very well, cool. Well, the one. good thing is that there's so many different kinds. So if we are yeah. lucky enough to to hit one, then you know, mm -hmm. there's a ton of you know if you're a fan of all kinds of different things, and there's a lot of variety, not just EV cards or anything like that, so. Yeah, we'll that is true. Oh, oh, very, very nice. Zinnia's Resolve. That's awesome. I'm very, very, cool. very happy about that. Uh, cause that's great to get some great cards. All right, we are. We haven't done any guess the energy. Uh, we haven't done any guesses of the but. energy. We probably should. Uh, <laughs> if y'all watch my channel, Nick and I actually did. Oh, another professor's research. Very cool. Very we cool. actually did like a sneak peek of he's in town in, a, in like a week or something. He's gonna do these videos, which you're watching now, as Ooh. we get a very nice shining magic card. I'm pretty sure it's really, really hard to pull That's a card, so. definitely a difficult one to get, yeah. so Excellent. that's great to get those. Very Anytime it's... Celebrations. Oh, that's hey. a great one! <laughs> and behind no, that? Hey. This is, uh, Xerneas EX is one of the more difficult ones to pull. It took me a while, and it's, it's uh, statistically very difficult one to pull, so anytime you can get one of those, even though it seems like, eh, is it, what, Xerneas is EX from like the black and white set or something? Or what was it? I yeah. don't know. No, uh, X and Rocket Y. Rocket Zapdos, X okay. and Y set, excuse me. Um, nice. <laughs> so it's very nice, very happy to have pulled that. Celebrations is a lot of fun to open too. Um, you know, I thought with a smaller set that it may, you know, you may open a few packs and that would be cool, but then that would be it. But honestly, right. every pack that you open, I mean, it's always there a chance to There we go. Yeah, there you go. Here comes Team Rocket. It gives you two chances. Yeah. The classical collection and, of course, the main collection. And getting that Shining Mew is very, very difficult. Uh, it's not as common as we think. So as oh. we get down, let's do a little guess the energy. Okay. Psychic energy. Lightning energy. All right, okay. nothing there. <laughs> Got an apple. We'll do one more guess of the energy because you can't do it with celebrations. No. Nope. Uh, I'm going to go with Psychic again. Darkness energy. Oh yeah, my gosh. Go. Are you it's, kidding it's me? It's a little redemption. If you guys saw the earlier video from a couple weeks ago, um, I did not do very well at all. So this is a nice little redemption. Oh, there we go. So what I thought was the very common uh, card, holographic, uh, was the Venusaur in this video in this case. But now the Blastoise has been pulled. Uh, wow, There's talk about difficult to pull is that Charizard. Uh, I've pulled it, I believe, two times in my entire time opening up Celebrations. My first time opening up, I pulled it, which is great. Uh, it's more rare than we think, I guess. Man, 
But we got three celebrations packs left. Plenty of stuff to come, guys. Please, please, please consider donating. Link on screen as well as in the description below. Not just to donate, but if you want to sign up to try to raise yourself, it'll be a fun way to see as we get, of course, <laughs> another, Venusaur. another Venusaur. All right. All of these cards in today's video are going to one lucky winner, but of course, there's the free tickets to my pop up shop and lots of other amazing stuff that y'all can get. So, Nick, anything you want to say before? Well, I'm just very, very excited to be back here, finally in person. You know, not being able to participate last year down here was was tough, but obviously reading all the comments and, and seeing what we were able to do, you know, mm -hmm. made it a little bit better. But I'm just excited to kick it off, and, and here's to uh, some more good videos. Definitely. Let's so by the time, let's go by the end of this, uh, not this video, obviously, but the end of this fundraiser that we have raised hopefully more than one million dollars <laughs> this is that's that's a fitting way to end the this video. is a fitting way to end the video <laughs> my name is Lane Hart this is Nick stay awesome stay positive everybody and we will see y'all in the next video